Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm, for love is as strong as death, its jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love, rivers cannot sweep it away. To my dearest little peanut, I will never forget the moment my heart met yours. Time stopped and everything disappeared except you and me. And it was that moment I realized that I had found the one whom my soul loves. Bran, I cannot believe today is finally here. As I sit here trying to write these vows, I'm struggling. Not because I am at a loss for words, but because all words seem inadequate when trying to explain my love for you. Trying to explain my love for you is like trying to explain God's love. And trying to explain how he loves us in the depth and the way he does. And there simply are not enough words for that. I want you to know how honored and privileged and blessed I am that even with all my imperfections, you still chose me. Becoming your husband today is the greatest title and honor I will ever have. This marriage is my calling and I will answer every time. Lord, I pray that, that you will uh, bless this marriage, help them to always keep you at the center of it. We pray that you bless this day, open our spirits and open our hearts so that we can best celebrate the love of Tori and Branner on this wonderful marriage. <laughs> This life won't be easy, but man, will it be magical. I don't know what it will look like, and I don't know what will happen. And I know that after seeing all the tests that we went through to get here, that our love can survive anything. I'm beyond grateful that I get to love you forever. It is my greatest honor in life. As you know, we are all gathered here to marry Branner Getz and Tori Sinicki. However, Branner and Tori have made it perfectly clear that this is not so much about them, but about the one who brought them together. They want the author of Eternal Love to be their guest of honor here today. We are here primarily to worship the living Lord Jesus Christ. Without the two of you, this day would not have happened at all. You two made this possible. You made our dream come true. So we wanted to do something special to honor the two of you. So as we enter this covenant with God, know this. I chose you. And I promise to choose you every day for as long as I have a breath to breathe. I will strive to love you better each day. As your wife and your best friend. Where you go, I will go. And your God will be my God. Branner and Tori, in the presence of God and these witnesses, you have pledged yourselves to one another. It is with great joy <laughs> that I proclaim you man and wife. I think it's a good time to kiss your lovely bride. In partnership with Brainer's thoughtfulness, his immense heart, and his steadfast love for you, I see a life filled with joy, with success, and with adventure.
Tori, you are the gentle kind of human being who I believe continues to make Brandon a better man every single day. It's wonderful to see two people so happy together. With so much to look forward to, your love inspires every person in this room. And just like she makes you better, you make her better. And your guys' love is a picture of God's love for all of us because there is no way that the two of you could be able to love each other like this if he wasn't in it. 